That's a big ass building. I do definitely think I've reached the uh, max I can get out of these guns that I have, though. Cost it's costing too much to upgrade them now. I only have how much money? I have 11 grand left. Bit. God, everybody's talking in Discord so much. Uh. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Talking about G sync and B sync and. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. The shitty been beer. real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. He's trying so hard. It's actually kind of sad. A little bit. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Okay, so this is a farce. You want to say that again, pal? Wow. Level 100 on all of your checks. Uh, quick, everyone! Get them! They got Over the there. drop on us. <laughs> You're just gonna stand Reloading. there? <laughs> Got a job for anyone with a ready gun hand and empty pockets. There's an inspector looking into the murder of House and Helen. My clients want you to cross them off. Don't worry about salty. In fact, do not be subtle. Just make sure that once you agree to the job, you visit the rearmost buy a bunk. Put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattress. After that, feel free to call the room. 40,000 bits. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Senior deputy. Greetings, non criminally associated individual. The Rizzo's Constabulary is currently not closed due to a bureaucratic uh -huh. please. I hate speak. how they have the robot speak in this game, to be honest. Hey, Rob. You. By all. Town. Um, check limitation. Limitation. Mm hmm. The constabulary terminal key card, which I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Greetings, criminal. This unit would implore you to God, confess a minute, a minute to of them talking. crime of landing with an expired permit. Please explicate your defense into this unit's recording equipment. My permit wasn't expired, Scrappy. You probably just scanned it wrong. Error. Unit's permit reading equipment was updated only last week. Please tell a different lie. Tell a different... You're a mechanical. You ain't got the foggiest idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However, Constable Keen has decreed that this unit will remain here. 
questioning you every minute until you submit a confession error information on recent exchange lost restarting conversation drinking criminal this unit would employ you to steal. confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit you know what my permit was fake after all oh, let me out of here is that keen Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keane, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Womp womp. No signs of life detected. Maria Keane is survived by no known relatives. Small wounds shot in the head and Excellent neck. observation, Inspector. Multiple wounds located in the frontal bone and between the clavicles suggest she was facing away from her attacker. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Uh, scan her blood for toxins. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. We stopped her heart. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest rather than physical trauma is the most likely cause of death. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Better protocol activated. We'll find this rat bastard's <laughs> responsible, Inspector. Nice. she be dead. Vodka orange. Key card. I'm assuming as I find each of the... People we're looking for will get each of the vodkas. Uh, please be on your guard. Pyrus Spaceport is outside my jurisdiction. Keep an eye on King Cannon. Uh, Clock lost. Okay. Well, we're done here. Uh, dry goods. Reminds me of Moreau's. Just a bit. It's so funny, every time I see the sublight, like, thing, I think of safe light. <laughs> I don't know, that's gotta be just like a West Coast thing, right? Hello, welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundries, states. the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. Uh huh. Oh, I see you've read some of my poems. Very clever, Inspector. Yes, my pen name is the Marketeer, though I also use it in certain business dealings. Uh-huh. Wait a moment. Why do you ask? Hey now, hey, uh, let's all be reasonable here. I'm just a middleman. None of this was my idea. Okay, literally stood jobs outside requiring of discretion store. arrive here from the hotel. Always anonymous and always lucrative. For a sizable cut, I set these jobs up and ask no questions. Oh god. Somebody sent me a note telling me they wanted you dead. I don't know who and I don't know why. I swear. Uh huh. You're hired by an anonymous note to hire someone else by an anonymous note. Yeah, of course. It's called a paper trail. Give me a little credit. I'm a professional. I've got to have some standards.
Do the twist of my arm or you're an idiot. I understand your distrust, but look at me in my place of business. What would I stand to gain from destroying you versus how much I stand to lose if discovered? You're welcome to remain suspicious, but in the meantime, you're completely welcome to browse my wares at your leisure. No surcharge. Again, terribly sorry. <laughs> welcome. Green vodka? Nope. Balls. Give me ammo. Oh shit. Alright. Where's this go? Holy oh. Oh my. We're gonna do that here in a second. Go check out this place. You, you got an appointment? Appointment. No, bitch. Then get. Can I make an appointment for her right now? Hmm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Uh, could put in a good word about his incredibly helpful secretary. Wouldn't mind a new bolter pistol. I've fired mine so many times the tips nearly fell off. Let's give Mr. Kincannon a ring. Mr. Kincannon, got a person of interest here to see you. I think they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send him up. What, was that? That? what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I was leaving. Yeah, all right. You're on the level. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're... Damn it! Hoping to find some vodka. Do you have any? Oh, oh, oh! Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. Down the bottom looks special has been customized. Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. I mean, it's in his... well, yeah. Obviously. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Oh, it's violet. <laughs> we will find the green. I swear. Why, if it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Uh, first I want an explanation for that nonsense. Outside. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Uh, slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. How'd they get their hands on slug gear? Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Um... Right again, Inspector. Uh, I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? A Rizzo employee? Could it possibly be the administrator? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou, you see? I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you. Nor is it likely they assign themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. Mm -hmm. With that settled, 
I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Yes. Let's see. That night I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Um, and where could I find him? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. So how about that you were busy murdering somebody else? Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. They'd make a killing sound takes to her funeral. Why, Inspector, that's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. I take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your cargo. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such does not resolve a concerning broader oh, trend. Fuck. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and... There have been more instances since. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Mm-hmm. And the connection? I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Am Abba. Okay. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... <laughs> Just no mangling in front of me, please. I would never. Company secrets and all that. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something? Uh, Constable's dead. Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? Uh, this was a murder. It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. You're actually upset about this. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but... We were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul. And law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Your drinking buddies. I would love to see that. She was fond of a zero G, so I cannot begin to imagine why. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Mm-hmm. The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. And now he regrets it. An excellent deduction, Inspector. Our combative I'm the relationship best stems from paperwork, so many good mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. 
I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. How fine of print are we talking? Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My Gotta read that power fine grab, print. as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. For all the sniping you do each other helps. <laughs> oh, I'm not an innocent party here. Uh, please don't think I'm claiming to be. Provoking Lou may be fun, but I do have my reasons. Mm -hmm. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Why do you care so much? Because one day soon, Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slights, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with so our which, hand which in the proverbial the cookie board? jar as of late. Convinced we're involved in less than legal Remember, business it's Rizzo's, opportunities. Spacers, Cleo, and CMP. Not in front of witnesses, I didn't. Very. Uh, who would want her dead? That is. I'm just gonna get through the rest of this. Because. Uh, your point. I've already yes. made it. Be very careful. Okay. The one. Yeah, what? What or who made you decide to investigate me? Hunch. I see. What? Now then. I'm moving on. Ah, uh, spectrum red. Oop. Ah. A leg. All right. So that's done. That's done. That's done. Time to uh 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 uh. Ah! What? What was that? Huh? Nothing. Nobody. Got it. Inside voices. Shit. Trying to hide, okay. Didn't see nothing. Alright, so don't fall down there. How was I supposed to know it was restricted? God damn it. Oh. That's restricted. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the groundbreaker. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> hey, could I talk to you for a second? Who? You? You ever wonder what you? Hey there. Word around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? Cut the shit. I know Hawthorne's captain of that ship, and I know you ain't him. You want to try again? I may have killed him. I don't have any idea who you are, and I don't owe you anything. Get off my asshole. <laughs> 